To have the opportunity to explore the action sequences and figure out what we could do and what we couldn't do was really exciting. Filming it, I felt badass, and then watching it, I was like, who is this person? That's not me. I was doing stunts that are far bigger than anything I've done before. Greg, Luke, and I, my two doubles, we were really put to the test. Okay. He very much wants to like do as many stunts as he can, so it set a mood. Tom has done more action on this film, probably in all of the movies that he's done combined. The movie raises the bar as far as the level of intensity in the action. We really, you know, pushed ourselves to try and meet the level that the video games had set. Yes. I hate action that doesn't have personality in it. It's so great when you can find humor and character within the action. Yeah, I got it, I got it. Sex on the beach. There's actually this really cool stunt where Nate blows fire out of his mouth. Whoa jumps on the counter, onto the other counter, and then through the hole right as the door is closing. Designing the fighting was really interesting because he's someone who's incredibly capable but not trained, which was actually quite tricky, and it took a while to get right, but I do think in the film it comes across that he's just someone who's very gifted. Ruben, he's very capable of the action and is an incredibly collaborative filmmaker in terms of interacting with second unit and in the development and execution of action and how it takes a village to create action set pieces. Our practical locations were really incredible. The set piece that takes place when Nate and Sully meet Chloe for the first time. We're really running across the rooftops, incredible palace and falling in their fountain and everything. Nathan Drake, at the end of the day, is human. So designing these action sequences around that was really, really fun. Oh, oh. Could you move any slower? I was lucky enough now to be playing the elder statesman who doesn't have to be as physically capable as Nathan. He's smart enough to use his wits about him and let Nathan do most of the heavy lifting. There's only one rule in this game, kid. Don't get caught. Tati, she was a force. When she takes out those three guards at the auction, she was so committed. It's never fun fighting in a dress and heels. You never think that that's what you're gonna have to do, and then boom. And I remember she was kicking me in the chest and sort of five or six takes in. I remember saying to her, like, do you have any sort of martial art training? Because she was beating the shit out of me. I have a background in martial arts. Um, I have a black belt, and it's always been a dream of mine to be able to apply that to this work. Hand it over, Victor. One of the great moments in this film is uh, what we call the Papa John's fight. Papa John's. Yeah, never got my pizza, by the way. Oh, shit. Braddock and Sully facing off as below them you have this perilous sequence with Sophia and Tom stuck in a well. She has got the upper hand on me and I'm kind of in a, with the ticking clock trying to save them and keep my operation going. At first, it was very intimidating. That was my first real interaction with Mark, him walking into this stunt rehearsal. He came in hitting 30 years under his belt, hit the ground running. I'd been rehearsing for two days. And he's like, all right, let's do it. She's absolutely amazing, especially of martial arts and fighting. She certainly didn't need a stunt double at any time, that's for sure. Fighting should be basically unwritten dialogue. So we wanted to give Braddock something different. She's a trained assassin. Ah, sorry, son's a bitch. Sully is an older school, old hand. So he has a more street brawly, kind of just get to the point style. First of all, it wouldn't be a fair fight. He would probably start it when you weren't looking. When he goes, there's definitely no rules. All my stunts through this whole movie have been crazy. I jumped from a 40-foot boat. You have a battle for these ships play out between the ships 
being carried by two helicopters in this great swashbuckling style. The first time I stepped foot on the ships, you know, was a really momentous occasion. The boats are real, which was on a gimbal, simulating that the boats are flying. It moves on hydraulics and adds this element of, like, danger, which keeps everyone's adrenaline pumping. We had a helicopter. It was on a gimbal, too, so it was kind of moving around and thrusting around. People swinging from one boat to another and boats crashing into each other. <laughs> it's wild. We were up there on wires and pulling each other up and down. And it's as close to doing the real thing as you can. If you go three, two, and on two, you're reaching. We were always challenging ourselves to push the limits on what the action was and what the moments are. Come on! Trust me! Movies aren't really made like this anymore. And I think when you watch the film, it really does come across authentic.